I started scanning in the year 2010, uh, when, when we started, we were using a manual hash verification process for all of our photography at that point. And we made the leap using it for scanning as well. We were using it to apply to all the files on a USB. Just talk a little bit about the importance of hash verification of files and, and kind of how we followed this process to get where we are. Well, I've been in the digital forensic realm for over 20 years. And from day one, it was been an important component because how do we authenticate any of our evidence? Um, different disciplines will do it differently. It's about documentation, how we can record that at the time of collection, right? And that's, that's what's important. Or in some instances, at the time of inception, such as the scan data now. So we've always been able to collect our digital data. And the first step we do is to hash that. Why? Because when we go back into court or people ask us, what data set did you use? We can hash it. We can show them exactly what data set we used or what was given to us or what we collected at that time. If we don't have that information, we can't answer that question and it could invalidate potentially our analysis. You know, even folks using our equipment, I think we're, we're heading in a direction that it's trust but verify. <laughs> and that really is what this process is all about. Uh, the hash process that we've developed for the RTC, it's a multi-step process. Can you walk us through those steps? Sure. So the first step that we had to do with the scanner is to apply a digital signature to that scanner. We use Red360 to do that. And it embeds that signature in the scanner based off information about that scanner. We're us they're using the serial number um, and potentially some other information to give that signature a unique data set to that scanner. Do you have a process that identifies the scanner that created the data? Right. And then you have the hash process in which the data is subject to the hash algorithm and it's given the unique code that identifies that data as unique. Right. And the amazing part of it, it's since it's hashing on the fly, it's seamless to us as a user. And all we have to do once it's set up initially is sign that job. So when it's complete, it's got a digital signature. Everything's hashed. The naming conventions are part of that signature. So if we go in and we change any of the data, such as a setup name or a geotag name, that now is a modified signature. And we would have to re-sign that to help those uh, results get verified in the end. There are different algorithms used to provide hash values for data. Can you explain which one we selected and why we selected that one amongst those that are available? Like it chose to choose the SHA-3 256-bit encryption. Wanted a more robust SHA, a more uh, secure SHA. Chose that one without it being so robust that it's, you know, inconvenient to the user. So I think they picked a really good level. What's the process by which Reg is verifying that the data is accurate to what was collected from the scanner? Well, it's a simple process. There's two options. You're, you know, once it's, you get the data set into Reg360, which is usually a drag and drop, right? It's easy. Before we even import it, you can right click and verify. And it's gonna run the check on the back end to see if that signature is valid based on that data set that you just gave it. Hashes, are they all gonna match up? So it's using the signature information to do that very quickly. Um, and then we have the option to automatically get that verification upon import. And we, that's when we get that nice PDF report to show us everything's verified, we're good. Or if there's any issue, something was modified, uh, then we can see that immediately. And it will even tell us exactly what's been added, what's been what's missing potentially, um, or what's been altered. Well, Kip, I tell you what, I really appreciate the time to talk here about this. Uh, it's a wonderful process. So I, I just want to say thank you. It's, it's you know, been an, it, quite an experience and an honor to have the chance to work with you on it. Oh, we had a great time as well. We appreciated it. And, and uh, we all, you know, developed a protocol that we thought we could test out. And uh, it turned out to be a fantastic project for us. So we, we enjoyed it very much. And we're excited to use it because we get to skip some other torturous steps during the data process. So I think a lot of other people are going to have that benefit to use it.